up guys? guys? Got a very special guest on the show today, my boy Johnson, and we're about to review some of Auckland's very best shopping scenes, whether it's high street, high end, or a little bit of streetwear, we're gonna have you covered. Heading over to our first stop, Loaded, which specializes in men's and women's streetwear and sneakers. You can find all your mainstay brands in here like Adidas, Nike, and Kaha. Let's get yourself a nice fresh haircut. Did you get a fresh haircut for this show? Man? Yeah, of course, man. <laughs> right off of Loaded is as color. Great prices and where you get all the staples, all you need, all different colors. My favorite are these staple tees. They come in a range and got a really, really soft touch. Um, this brand is created in New Zealand 10 years ago. Make sure you check it out. Currently at Edit on Vulcan Lane. This place is a menswear store. They sell a range of things from uh, the more like working class garments, but downstairs you're gonna find a whole bunch of Yeezy season stuff, a little bit of Raph Simmons as well. Nice spot. Right opposite is Shakes, where you can get luxury men's brands such as Carrot and Chinatown Market. Yo, we're just hitting Shakes now. My boy Cyrus is gonna give you a little introduction about the brand. What's up, guys? Welcome to Shakes. We're a New Zealand based store uh, on High Street in Auckland. We've got our own brand. Everything is made in New Zealand here. Super nice quality. Our hoodies and t-shirts are from America, screen printed right here. Got some other local New Zealand brands as well, such as Leo Leo. Dude screen prints everything himself on some nice American blanks and a champion. Super nice stuff. And we're lucky to have some uh, other American brands as well. Uh, Amy Leon Door that most people are familiar with, uh, featured on Hypebeast and all that. Everything is made in the States, super good stuff. Um, a brand stocked in Supreme as well, Iggy, known for their graphics, super playful, uh, nice and colourful, goes well in the store, been pretty popular. Been around here for 10 months, been cycling through some brands, everyone seems to be liking everything, just bring some new flair to Auckland. Shout out to my boy Jordan Gibson for opening this store, make sure you have a peep. Right next to Chicks is Trainers, where you can pick up a little bit of skate merch. Let's go catch up with my mate Bo. Trainers was uh, established by a guy called Drew Miller and Shea Ataria, uh from Diff. Basically, we're a skate boutique stock New Zealand brands like Arcade and Diff, uh, as well as brands from overseas like Champion, uh, Awesome, Thrasher, Polar, a whole bunch more. Kind of like a uh, skate boutique, but you know, we support uh, other kind of subcultures, local hip hop artists, trap artists, have in store events and that sort of thing, and sponsor local skateboarders as well. So we're down in the basement on High Street. Come check us out. Other notable stores on High Street include Parlour, where you can pick up some vintage gears, as well as Crane Brothers, where you can get a New Zealand fitted handmade suit. Yo, we're just outside Ruby. You know, if you want your girl to look fly, you want to look, look fresh, make sure you take your hair to New Zealand brand. For my 9 to 5 job, I normally need to get a suit and there's only one place that I go to in New Zealand to do that, Working Style. We're about to meet up with Harrison who's going to give us a little bit of a tour of the store. Hey guys, my name's Harrison. Welcome to Working Style here in New Zealand. Uh, we're a brand that's uh, started 30 years ago by Chris Dobbs, our founder. He started off doing door-to-door -door sales of uh, handmade shirts in New Zealand. Um, and so far we've blossomed into six, or, uh, six stores nationwide. So yeah, let's take a look. Our suits here are all made up in Portugal these days. They come with all hand-finished garments. We do all the tailoring in-house. So if you ever need you know, full fitting done, that's where we come in. So that's High Street. Bit of a short street, but you get a lot of quality right there. We just wrap that up and we go out to head off the Grotto Mart. Johnson, what do you recommend? Yeah, if you're young and you want to look fresh, you want to look cool, make sure you check this place out. It's got everything that you need. Here yeah, at Brittomart right now, this is like the architectural stop for Auckland. This is a little bit fancier store, so the prices are gonna be going a little bit higher. There's a lot of cool cafes. Make sure you bring a girl here, have a walk, look around. Really close to Brittomart train station, easy to get to. Well guys, now that we're in Brittomart, we're gonna test Peter on some knowledge on female clothing. Usually a lot of family like to come into Brittomart to do their shopping. Uh, Yen's sister especially, shout out Yen T. There's a lot of NZ female fashion stores here. You got your Karen Walkers, you got your Juliet Hogan. Just about Karen Walker, you might know the iconic runaway girl, little girl with a little satchel. That's Karen Walker. Yeah, I didn't know that, man. Yeah. Charlize Cooper as well. So yeah, I think I, I think I've nailed most of the New Zealand fashion stores. And you, then there's the Australian store, Sass and Bide. Um, but generally, like I said, around here you're paying a little bit higher prices. So uh, be ready to fork out the dollars if you want to look fly here. 
Yo, I don't really know much about female brands. I don't have a girlfriend right now. So if you're interested, make sure you slide in my DMs. <laughs> Got Zambezi and Will behind us. We're on Tyler Street. You can't film in there, but there aren't that many places in Auckland to shop for the overseas brands, but that's definitely two of the spots there. Yo, if you like Marjala, Dark Shadow, Acne, definitely check this place out. You can't really get anywhere else in New Zealand. Yo, as you can see, the downtown shopping mall is actually under construction at the moment. It's going to be a replica of Sylvia Park. We're going to be hitting there later. We're just at the duty-free store right now. It's just off Queen Street. If you're looking for luxury brands and you're just stopping off in New Zealand, then this is definitely the spot for you. Yo, if you got your plane ticket ready, you want to get a 15% discount, you want a bit of a hustle, maybe some resale, check this place out. We just went through the luxury brands in New Zealand. Uh, you can see Gucci, Louis, Dior, Prada. Um, I used to call that the triangle of death. Once you take your girl there to Louis, Gucci or Dior, you're never getting out. <laughs> yeah, definitely. The Gucci store in New Zealand, a little bit of a secret for you guys, is a lot cheaper in New Zealand than it is overseas. Queen Street is the main street of Auckland City. Whether it's groceries, electronics, high end or low end, it's got everything. We're heading around to the mid city area now. That's uh, where you get more affordable clothing. There's also a cinema there, as well as some supermarkets. Notable stores in the mid city include Platypus, which is a sneaker store, as well as Glass and St. Helenstein, which are the equivalent of New Zealand's H&M, as well as Farmers, which is the largest department store you'll find in New Zealand. Right now we're at the Queen Street Crossing. This is kind of like the equivalent of Auckland's Shibuya Crossing, but uh, nowhere near as busy. <laughs> Yo, we're just outside Recycled Boutique. If you like secondhand shopping, usually gems in here. There's an old myth that you could find Heineken Duncan species. Wrapped up the city and we're heading to... Ponsonby is usually a fancy area. You'll see a lot of um, more wealthier people. Most of the ones that you get around here, you're gonna find in the city as well. But there's just a couple of New Zealand stores that you're gonna get here that you can't get anywhere else. Commoners is a local New Zealand brand. Makes a lot of nice minimalist clothing. We use all natural fibers. Um, everything's organic. Workshop, um, they do a lot of international brands, really high quality stuff. They've been around for almost 20 years. Definitely check this place out. We're here at Newmarket Broadway. It's a really nice place to be, a really good walk. You can take your girl down here because there's a lot of female stores. But I highly advise to come on the weekends because during the weekdays, there's too many schools around this area, too many students that get in your way. Yeah, there's three main streets on this place. Broadway, which is the main street where you're gonna find the majority of the shops. Then there's Nuffield Street and there's Teen Street. The girls generally love this area. You can go and get your ball dress here. You can get a range of different cosmetics that you can't find anywhere else. It generally has most of the other female stores that you would be looking for in the city or Ponsonby. It's all right here. Only unfortunate thing is 277 is currently getting reconstructed. We're about to head over to the main guy store now. Yo, I'm just heading to I Love Ugly. My mate here, Stefan, will tell you a bit more about it. How you going, brother? Yeah, so we're an I Love Ugly uh, menswear brand established in 2008, so it's a 10 year anniversary this year. Basically, specializes in the whole lifestyle, not necessarily just menswear. What is I Love Ugly famous for? Zespi pants, man. Yeah. That's really what made it pop off. The designer was in Amsterdam, went on a trip in Amsterdam, and he designed them and then just made it pop off. And then from there, it kind of started to grow into every kind of spectrum from wallets to accessories to colognes. Yeah. Thank you for that, Stefan, man. Much appreciated. Easy, <laughs> Pleasure, bro. Yeah, I, I've been rocking a lot of I Love Ugly since uh, my uni days, so definitely a brand to check out. Yeah, bro. Check it, bro. For <laughs> sure. My man. Nice. It's heading to Sylvia Park now, our final destination. Let's go. Auckland's very biggest shopping mall. Sylvia Park, where you can find the greatest amount of variety in any of the malls. If you're a fan of fast fashion, you can check out H&M and Zara here. Yeah. You can look real fly for a really cheap price. They're global brands, you probably already know them. The reason why we spent a lot longer in the city is because you get all the shops that you get in all these malls and off streets, plus you get a whole bunch more diversity. But this mall is still a great place to hang out, especially if you want to bring the whole family, lots of food places and fashion. All right, so this is the end of this shopping vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed this content. We went to four great places. We took you all around the city. We went to Ponsonby, we went to Newmarket, and we finished off things at New Zealand's biggest mall, Sylvia Park. 
If you like what you see, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. They make really cool content. Peter Yen, they do an awesome job. Also follow me on Instagram, right here, right here. I do giveaways and um, maybe you know Supreme stickers and stuff like that. If you like that stuff, also slide in my DMs if you're single. <laughs> Catch you guys next time. Peace. Is that? <laughs> Wait, hold on.